Jimbo and I have made it to the bicycle capital of America, which is Sparta, Wisconsin. And this guy right here is Ben Biken. You'll remember a few videos back, we went to Iowa 80, but before we got to Iowa 80, we visited We'll Be Rolling. And these guys are at the beginning and end of a bicycle path that go from one end to the other. Jimbo even says that this one here in Sparta actually goes through some really cool old train tunnels. So that's pretty neat. So we actually know somebody, a guy named Rick, who can ride these things. It's pretty neat to watch him dismount that thing. It looks like he's gonna bust his butt, but he doesn't. So now we need to move on to another cool thing. It is my birthday and it is rainy and uh, we only have a short time before the sun goes down well what sun i don't know but we're going to uh, get back in this jeep and drive a little bit still in sparta but another cool artsy thing so let's get on the road over by him right over by this gazebo here there is another ben with a doorbell on it but nothing happens so i'm not sure what happened what it was supposed to happen, I imagine that he was gonna tell me information about bicycling or Ben Biken or Penny Farthings, which is what that is. Penny Farthing, pretty funny name for a bike. Nice little creek, Burr, it's cold. Okay, we've made it to the Wagner Grotto. Uh, Paul and Matilda Wagner built this. They used to live here, but their house no longer exists. Um, they no longer exist. They passed away many years ago. Him in 1938 and hers five years later, 1942. But they came here from Germany. They immigrated here and they lived in Wisconsin for 44 years. And one day they decided to go and visit Dickie Grotto, Dickieville Grotto and were inspired and so they started building art this here is a replica of the i forget the name of the boat Let's see if i can walk around it and come up with it but this is the replica of the boat they immigrated over on from germany notice the insulators those are insulators the blue right there oh and the other kind of insulators too the ceramic uh, so they made this. Oh, there is a sign. Jimmo was just pointing. The SS Bremen Ocean Liner. That's cool. I'm trying to hold an umbrella and a camera. Let me tell you, this takes talent. Talent. So this here is a replica of their anniversary cake the golden wedding anniversary in 1934. Basically shards of glass, glass, pottery, anything they can find that makes art. I like these little tubes that they used. All that glass is still sharp. Yeah, all the glass is sharp. <laughs> I wonder why no one's tried to move all this stuff because they learned the hard way. Okay, what else do we have? Let's see, hold on. Neat little relics. So look, they framed the tree. I think they even used seashells in some of it, but look at all the shards of glass in that. That looks so cool. Different little pieces of art all over. So when they passed away, the Kohler company came in and said they cleaned it up and made it more friendly to visit, I guess. And then they gifted it to the county. So the county now owns this place and they're nice enough to put signs out around the farms to say, come in this direction. There's a pretty star. Birdhouse. I do not know what this is but I like the pottery in it. <laughs> I 
Oh, the fireplace mantle. That looks like a lighthouse, but it's a birdhouse. Crown of Righteousness. <laughs> There's a heart out there. Back in the 30s instead. Yeah. Jimbo's thinking that these lines in the grass might be where their house was. Information. Huh. It, you know, it'd help if we read things first. And he was right. It was the uh, footprint of the house. The framing in the grass. You can see the lines there. Oh, that's neat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right here. Oh, how cool. What is that? Oh. Okay, so what do we have? It's a glass church. Oh, and it's even got a glass church. So these, uh, the glass shards are actually from steeples from churches sorry about the road noise from churches that are german so there are the three main churches are lutheran catholic catholic and jewish and so they have little signs for them but they also have pieces Ooh, look at that piece of glass they have parts of steeples from those churches. So this church is actually where Paul Wagner, Wagner had his funeral that was held here. And you can even get married in this chapel. All you have to do is call the uh, Historical Society and they will arrange it for you. And we've got Jacob's Well mentioned in the Bible. Very neat. Oh, look at all the pottery inside. Huh. The shells. What's this thing? Huh. Hi. You up on your pulpit? What is that? Like a podium to make your speeches? Yeah. Oh, there's even pottery in the... Signs out here. Wow, this place is elaborate. They ask you not to touch anything, not to climb on anything. I think that didn't count, but... There is also stairs going down, and I'm curious. There's a door, but it's got a pad. Look at that. <laughs> Walk up these slippery stairs. Came up a different set of stairs so I could get... Oh, look at that. Purple insulator. Look at all the glass. This is amazing. The American flag. The Wegners created this American flag sculpture to pay tribute to the freedom they enjoyed as American citizens. Paul and Matilda immigrated from Germany in 1885. And as I said, they lived here for 44 years. This star here, let me get on the other side of it. I know what it represents. I don't have to read the sign. This is the Gold Star Memorial for, to memorialize the soldiers who died during World War I and the mothers who lost their sons, such as Matilda. Yes, one of their sons passed away in World War I. Thank you for your service. All right. I'm afraid this is where we're going to have to end this. Oh, no, we're not. So just behind their property, not even, what do you say, a tenth of a mile? 
there is a cemetery and it is decorated also. It is a muddy, wet mess out here, so I'm having to juggle the uh, camera stick and the umbrella. Jumbo can't even hold the umbrella because it's one of those personal ones. So, I will do my best, but we're not sure if they're buried in here. Well, let's go see. Well, he says they are buried here, so I guess they're right in the front. So, let me go show you. Sure enough, there they are. Oh, She came down here after he died and uh, started putting all this pottery all over the sites. I guess the information's on the other side. Let me get on the other side. 1854 to 1937. Oh, and hers isn't on there. I know she died in 1942, five years after him. And more Wagners. Oh, and no wonder. Oh, beloved mother, Helen Olson. Helen Wagner. Hmm. So that's it. It was just there a few stones, I guess, that were decorated otherwise it's a normal cemetery but it's in the back of this street that they did have a house on as we showed you it's pretty cool a little bit of history she even did all the fence posts and the railing all the way down so neat I love it. Thank you, Paula Matilda. All right, so I know that was on the shorter side of one of our videos, but we are only here in Sparta for one night, and we are headed to Minnesota tomorrow. So our next video, we will pick you up on the next adventure that will be coming from Minnesota. Say goodnight, babe. Hey, babe.